Parts Traders, the Lorian Nation. I'm so excited today to teach you guys a little tweak or a little addition to your DeLorean trading strategy. Here today, I'm going to teach you guys on a 15 minute time frame. This is New Zealand Yen. And I want to talk about, of course, we'll go back through the basics of the four steps. For those of you guys that are more advanced, you'll notice right here, it's kind of a little bit hard to see, but right there is the red arrow. That is what we're gonna be paying attention to. Of course, as you guys know, if you guys have never been through our DeLorean training, I've got a ton of training on my YouTube channel and inside of IM Mastery Academy. But we, you know, we focus on the two candles to the left of the arrow. We're still gonna do that today, but we're gonna have some more additions to that process. First things first, let's revisit the basics to make sure we're all squared up to speed. We have the red, the red arrow. Behind that is two candles. Those two candles, we have to answer four questions. It's B, C, L, S. They stand for bigger, cut, location, and space. The first question is bigger. Is the red candle body bigger than the blue candle body? Of course, we look to the two to the left of the arrow and the red candle is bigger than the blue candle. So we get one yes. The second question says, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? As you guys can see, the red line, AKA the 13 EMA, cuts through both candle bodies. The third question says, location-wise, do I have any sort of extra help from any other EMAs? And that's another way to word the normal question. In this example, you guys can see, we have three EMAs. We need to make sure one of them is near or wicking through the two candles to the left of the arrow. If you're selling, then one of them needs to be near or wicking through the top of the two to the left of the arrow. And if you're buying, it needs to be through the bottom of the left of the arrow. So let's take a look at this. Gray, gray area is not. Blue line is not. Sorry, gray line, not gray area. Gray line is not. Blue line is not. But look at that aqua. The aqua is cutting through the wick. So we got our third yes. So we've got bigger, we're cutting through, we've got good location, we need space. As you guys can see, if I hover over this, we have a 2.21 risk reward at the end of this trade. And some things that certain traders are doing right now with type two trades with some success is instead of finding structure to the left, which is your first nugget of the day, they are setting it up as a one to two risk reward ratio flat for better results. Because at the end of the day, when sometimes what they're doing is they're setting up for structure to the left, they one, won't take the trade because they don't see structure, or two, they have structure so far down that it's like a one to five risk to a ratio. And had they simply been at a one to two, they would have been able to have a winning trade. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about today is sort of the biggest nugget or the biggest little key factor here. And I want you to go back to the two candles to the left of the arrow. And I want you to notice this dotted line. What do you notice is happening on that dotted line? That is on the blue candle of the two to the left of the arrow. Look right here. On the bottom, our shaded region has exited the top of the red dotted lines. A lot of people ignore this. They say, don't use it. All you need is your four steps. And of course, the four steps is the core to our process, DeLorean Nation. However, after our four steps, we know that we're there as far as bigger. We know that it's cutting through. We know we've got good location. We know that we've set up a one to two risk ratio. Is there any other reason to enter the trade? Is there anything else that's pushing us off that cliff to execute? It's the bottom here. Imagine this trade setup happened, but the gray region was down below the blue. That would already tell us that we were oversold and buyers were gonna start coming in. In this case, it's telling us, hey, we're overbought. Sellers should be coming in soon. Every time you see the shaded region happen, notice the chart either stops moving up or starts pulling back down. Every single time. The goal for you is to find four step process trades, make sure they made a meet at least a one to two risk reward ratio, but then align the bottom of the chart. Once you've done that, I believe you will increase your accuracy and it will help you find better trades that will have a better experience. And in this case, notice it went into profit very, very quickly. And ultimately this one only took about an hour and a half to hit full take profit. I hope today's video helped you guys out. As always, guys, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. We are very, very, very close to 20,000 subscribers, and I cannot wait to reach that with you guys. 
And of course, comment down below if you learned anything or if you have any questions. And we will see you on the next video.